Hello, my name is uh, Chris Follows. I've worked at the University of the Arts London for seven years. Uh, I'm currently the Arts Learning Teaching Online Coordinator for the Alto Project, um, and I am Score Fellow at the Open University, um, looking into reuse of rich media content um, in the arts sector. This video will discuss the sandcasting videos and the context in which they were made. Um, the sandcasting videos were posted on the Drawham website and were subsequently uh, finalists in the 2011 Durham Learning and Teaching Competition. Before we discuss the sandcasting videos, we'll just have a little bit of background context to the University of the Arts London and the current innovation approaches that are going on there with, in regards to open educational practice. Be heavy with it though, because if you're too heavy with it, it, it will really get... Um it will clog with the charcoal. Engaging so with OER creation and sharing presents there, challenges right, to the art and design community, um, where there is a strong tradition of studio-based practice and learning. Traditional didactic resources such as lecture notes and project briefs can be scarce in these subject areas, with the result that there can be gaps when trying to create OERs along the lines pioneered by Open Courseware at the MIT and Open Learn at the OU. Yeah. In 2008, we developed Process Arts, which was a pilot project with the aim of creating a new user-driven online studio community and collaborative resource that explores process in arts practice by showing the day-to-day -day studio and professional practice of staff and students of all six colleges at the University of the Arts London, whilst also sharing and informing and engaging with a wider community. Process Arts tries to address how we cluster all this activity together, encourage users to collaborate, share and develop content in a space that bridges the internal and the external. For instance, the introduction to sandcasting videos, which were filmed in 2009, were early experiments of trying to capture um, practice. These videos have been received well and were posted on uh, YouTube and they attracted lots of uh, positive comments from all over the world and um, videos, uh, one single video has uh, received uh, over 30,000 hits um, and a total of over 100,000. The core casting experiments which were posted on the Durham uh, website uh, were a follow-up from the success of the introduction to the sand casting videos. The core casting videos are more experimental, they're less formal, and we thought that would be quite uh, interesting to record uh, tutors, uh, staff, uh, working things out, a bit almost like students themselves. The University of the Arts London received funding in 2010 to engage the university with the rapidly growing global open education resource movement. The ALTO, Arts Learning and Teaching Online project, is concerned with the creation and sharing of open education resources. Process Arts has since come under the umbrella of ALTO and is now seen as the um, participation, the workshop area of the whole ecosystem. Um, and these areas are replicated in lots of other websites Process Arts is just one of these spaces where resources uh, and participation happens. We also have a file store, and this is where the objects that are created uh, out in the ecosystem are deposited for long-term storage. And finally, in regards to my school fellowship research and uh, looking into reuse of um, rich media content, it's generally unknown how OER content is going to be repurposed and reused, and there is very little evidence of this happening. It's thought sites such as Process Arts and Alto will attract a mixture of resources, mostly granular in nature. Although these standalone pieces of content are interesting, it is difficult to assess how useful they are in regards to learning games, objectives and outcomes. On their own, these informal learning resources could be dismissed as having little or no academic significance or use in the curriculum framework. 
So this leads on to question, how do we share and collaborate in this space and overcome the obstacles of use and reuse specifically when creating and designing complex, rich media, learning resources and objects. Well, I hope that gave you a quick overview of, of the project uh, at UAL. Thank you, Durham, for inviting us to submit a video um, to be shown at the conference.